Hi, Scorpio. It's L here to do uh, your love messages for July going into August. Uh -huh. Let's see what's going on. So with this deck, we'll get the situation. We'll get, you know, what's going on with Scorpio. And then with another deck, we'll get the advice. What should Scorpio do? All right. So let's go. You're the last sign of to today, right? We got five of sword. Let's put those back. Okay, we'll take them. King of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords. There's only supposed to be four cards. Queen of Swords and the Sun. The bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the situation. What's going on with Scorpio? Um, whew. Scorpio. Uh, okay, so for my Scorpios dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, Sagittarius in particular. Um, some of you have to get over the past. There was maybe infidelity here with someone intruding in, in your relationship. There was heavy argument. There was... Um, the, you know, the egos of you, Scorpio, any other person just ran amok. The relationship was almost to a breaking point for some of you. Some of you went to counseling and now you're trying to get the spark back. Um, for some of my Scorpios, if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is confrontational. You haven't dealt with how they felt or feel about the situation. You keep just wanting to reconnect and and um, recreate, but you guys are not having a real conversation about what the problems, what the issues are or were. The sun is here saying that some things will be illuminated to you. Also, it's, it's the most positive card in the deck within this illumination. You know, you'll get positive energy. We got the sun and the wheel of fortune. Things are changing for you. You know, um, the wheel is turning. The wheel is always turning for all of us. Uh, if you've put out good, whatever good is for you, it'll come back to you. Of course, if you've done the adverse, then, you know, it's coming back to you also. Um, okay, so for some of you, Oh, wow. Some of you, you had a third party in your, your, um, <laughs> in your marital bed. You had, you brought someone in, um, into your, your sex life with your partner, whether it's your spouse or your long-term partner. Um, it's now becoming a hindrance, an interference or, Yeah. There's some there's something here that's blocking, you know, blocking real partner. Re, you guys really um, coming back together. Some of you are going to you know spiritual people. Some of you are spiritual teachers. Some of you are learning about new uh, new age spirituality. Um, that what we call the esoteric knowledge. You know things that are different and unique. But not really. It's it's just things that have been pushed down through the through the ages. It's not popular now. Um, it's not popular among the masses, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's the issue for a lot of you. Uh, those dealing with earth signs a Taurus in particular um, 
it looks like the relationship is pretty fair almost borderline boring some air sign is coming at you Scorpio in regards to financial matters the money whatever it is it has them like so on guard and heightened like things are just you know crazy okay alright so let's get some advice thank you okay for the advice for Scorpio and that's pretty much your energy king of pentacles right right strength Leo Mm -hmm. All right, the bottom of the deck, the high priestess. So this is cancer here. Somebody's doing a cancer. Their separation from separation from a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, the High Priestess is here. Some of you do spiritual work or, yeah, you, you, you're getting some, you're getting your messages of what to do, how to move, what to do next. Some of you are concerned about, I know this is love, but do I um, put a lot of energy into my spiritual practice? Do I make this a new career, a hobby, or whatever? Uh, there's something going on with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Um, I think some of you guys are shaking some things up sexually. Um, you've been tamed with this person, but it's like you want to spice things up. Like I said, it's borderline boring or just, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a, a break, uh, a separation in regards to um, a fire sign or an impending separation like uh, I think Leo excuse me I keep saying Leo I apologize I think Scorpio some of you could be dealing with a Leo I think Scorpio um, A, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is um, really trying to have the strength to chart a new path. And that's away from you, Scorpio. You have fits of rage. You might even cut off money sometime to this person. You need to learn how to tame yourself and tame your your energy and uh, your ego and your anger. You might need to practice some meditation. This air sign is wanting to walk away, but they don't have much to walk away with or to. There's nothing really to go to. There's another woman here or another man. Uh, Scorpio has someone in hiding. Because if they're outward, then um, Scorp it jeopardizes Scorpio's money. It jeopardizes a payout. It jeopardizes, um, I don't know, it jeopardizes the reputation. Anyway, you got somebody hidden. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You already have a home life. You don't really want this person in that regard. Not saying that you could never want them like that, but you just don't see them in that light. They're standoffish to you anyway. They're not taken to anything you have to say because they know what they want and they're not tolerating the BS of uh, 
you you being in and out you just wanted sexual you know pleasure anyway um okay so the 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 advice here is um scorpio tame yourself Tame your 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 uh, fiery nature. Tame your sexual appetite. Also, for some of you, you feel like what you like is weird. But I think maybe you know, kind of like ease your partner into this. For some of you who have a, a you know an okay relationship, it's going well. For those dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they are possibly trying to get the hell away from you. Um, I don't even really like curse or anything like that um especially in my readings but this person is just i mean they're so depleted like they just they want out someone wants to give you what you deserve and then they want out or vice versa they want you to give them what they deserve i think monetarily and they want out they know you have somebody hidden You've got a baby hidden or you've got someone hidden man or woman if this resonated with you please request a personal reading um all of my information is below of how to get in contact with me you can go over to my website you can send me an email we can pull your energy to see what's going on for you uh, just to give you a bit of clarity uh, so you know how to operate in your situation um no scorpio that uh, when in doubt pray i am praying for you pray for me as well take care until next time